Hi everyone, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I wanted to do a comparison between my two favorite e-readers, the Onyx Books M96 here on the left and the Kindle Voyage on the right. So I just kind of wanted to compare, uh, first off, the size difference. Obviously, there's a huge size difference. Uh, the Kindle, is, like all Kindles nowadays that are offered, is 6 inches uh, diagonally, and the uh, Onyx Books, it's 9.7 inch e-reader. Uh, so uh, it's basically one of the only 9.7 inch uh, e-readers you can get because uh, Amazon stopped making the Kindle DX quite a while ago for some reason. Uh, I really do like this larger screen format and uh, I don't know why these aren't more popular. They really should be in my opinion because I really do like them and I think uh, they're very he helpful for like PDFs and obviously for people with vision problems. You got these huge font sizes. You get a lot of uh, letters on the screen with the larger font sizes unlike the Voyage's smaller screen but uh, I mean obviously the Voyage is a lot more portable and uh, less expensive, uh, in, well basically for the uh, uh, entry level one it is. So the Kindle Voice starts out at 199, works its way all the way up to 289. So the uh, uh, Onyx Books M96, it's uh, 339, so it's really not a whole lot far off from the uh, 3G uh, Voyage uh, considering all the added features with the um, M96. It's pretty impressive because the Kindle uh, Voyage, its main purpose is to read ebooks from Amazon and it excels at that. It's got a lot of cool features. Uh, whereas the Onyx Books M96 right here, it's got all kinds of features because it's uh, an Android device and uh, you can load in all kinds of Android apps. You can load in uh, the Kindle app, you can load in um, you know, Kobo app, and all those kinds of stuff because it supports Android or it runs Android 4.0. So let's go ahead and load up the apps right here. So main difference with this Onyx M96 of course is that it requires you to use a stylus. Uh, to operate the screen. It doesn't have a finger-friendly touch screen like the Kindle Voyage, but there is a newer version of the uh, Onyx that does have, uh, the M96 that does have a capacitive screen, so it just sort of comes down to personal preference. So you can install all these Android apps because it comes with Google Play. Uh, so like I said, you can even run the Kindle app on here. Um, it doesn't uh, run as well as like uh, the regular app, uh, reading app on this device. Um, the fonts aren't quite as bold. Uh, and as you can see, when we turn pages here, you can use this little dial to turn pages does that like weird shifting effect so uh, text kind of breaks down after a while you can refresh the screen by holding that button but as you can see it's not as br or as dark as it was with that other app and of course it's not as dark as it is compared to the Kindle Voyage so the Kindle Voyage um, it literally has twice the uh, pixels as the M96 uh, it has a 300 uh, PPI screen and the uh, uh, M96 has 150 PPI screen so uh, honestly I don't really think it's much of a big deal at all uh, a much of a big difference at all because when you have the larger screen everything's scaled larger uh, I really do like the uh, dark fonts on um, uh, on the M96 as you can see everything's really nice and dark despite it being lower resolution and then like when you have uh, an ebook open fonts are nice and dark so it just sort of depends if you like really small font sizes the Kindle Voyage definitely exceeds at that because that's where the higher resolution screen really shines is at really small font sizes uh, the text is a lot clearer like around the edges whereas if you go with uh, smaller font sizes on this type of device they kind of look more jagged and a little rough so uh, another thing I really like about this is you can uh, enable bold um, so that the text is really really dark and so as you can see that uh, improves the contrast quite a bit just by going um, ahead and bolding using the emboldened option so you can use that with PDFs as well so that's probably like the number one thing uh, this device is used for is PDFs uh, the uh, M96 because of the larger screen obviously PDFs are going to look a lot better than they do on the smaller Kindle screen so let's go ahead and load up the same PDF just to give an idea of the screen size difference and how things lay out obviously with the books you get the whole page layout a little bit better here stuff is obviously quite a bit larger the, the text is quite a bit larger it's easier to read on the books um, definitely um, not as easy to read on the Kindle by comparison but if you have really good eyesight the text is actually really clear it's just really small text when you're uh, using the PDFs uh, the main thing with the uh, Voyage though you got the pinch zooming so if you want to uh, scroll in that way you can use the pinch zooming which is a quick way to zoom in uh, the uh, M96 it has a whole bunch of different various uh, zoom methods so if we want to go ahead and use these custom zoom dials you can zoom in with the dial you can zoom to width uh, I really like the uh, auto selection, it works pretty good and when it doesn't work good the uh, manual selection works really good so you can customize exactly what part of the screen you want zoomed in uh, for specific PDFs this works really well and then it will go exactly what you select and then when you turn pages it will stay zoomed in 
uh, it'll me remain on that part of the screen and you can scroll around using the uh, so one of the things that makes the onyx devices uh, popular of course is the option to write directly on the screen using the stylus you can do the markup and it's actually pretty quick to respond as far as writing goes so that's definitely an advantage with the voyage uh, or I mean with the uh, onyx devices whereas the voyage if you hold down you can you you can add uh, like uh, like uh, highlights and a text notes so if you wanted to add a text note you can add text notes using the keyboard so uh, that's a different uh, style of note taking of course um, then with the uh, M96 you can also go ahead and write text notes as well uh, if you want to go ahead and select on something you get the option for the uh, highlighting and the annotations as well So uh, just a couple of other things really quickly, uh, both devices have the bold which is really good for PDFs because a lot of times PDFs kind of have a uh, fainter text, no, not like this one but a lot of text based PDFs do so the Kindle it also has a contrast darken darkening feature right here. You can also do this margin thing which is really kind of strange but doesn't really work with PDFs like this one but you can still select it and it will get large, larger edges right there, I don't know why you'd want larger edges but got that option. Okay so another big difference uh, as far as readability goes with these two devices is the uh, Voyage it has a front light so if you don't have any light source uh, obviously the screen is going to be a lot easier to read. Uh, let me go ahead and turn the brightness down a little here right now it's all the way max so as you can see they're kind of comparable with the light off there's some light and window from right there but um, obviously the, uh, the uh, M96 you're going to need some sort of like lamp or light source to read at night whereas the Kindle has its own built in light right there so and the light also helps make this contrast appear better. As you can tell, the screen just looks uh, like it has a whiter background. And it also has the updated screen tech, the Carta. So uh, I imagine it does have better contrast as far as the white pigment goes because the um, books it's using a pearl screen. So another difference, of course, is the buttons. The Kindle, it has these, they're not real buttons, they're just sensors like embedded in there. Um, and they turn the screen or turn the page when you press them. You got the page forward uh, on the bottom here and page back on top and then you can also set it so it kind of gives off a little vibration when you hit the button. Uh, whereas the M96 it has uh, two page buttons right here and it's also got uh, a back button and a menu button and then it's got the uh, navigation wheel over here where you can use to navigate pretty much the whole entire device. Uh, like it puts a cursor on the screen when you're at the home screen and you can just navigate all around with just that cursor usually you don't really have to use the touch screen. Some apps um, they pretty much have no way to navigate that way though so some apps like Color Note, I can't really use it with Color Note um, you have to use the touch screen sometimes to manually uh, select things but for the most part you can use this dial to uh, select just about everything so it does help to have that. So of course the books here it supports Google Play you can get apps from Google that's one of the main uh, selling points of course with the Android device you can install whatever e-reading apps you want and a lot of them work well so um, they don't work quite as well as like the built-in app because it's optimized for ink, but just sort of depends on the individual app exactly how well it's going to work on an Android e-reader with an e-ink screen. You can also install like a different launcher if you don't even want to use that home screen um, that they set up for you, but um, it takes a lot of setup to get optimized for ink. Like right now, it's really sloppy. You need like a white background and get rid of the animations and then it actually works pretty well, but um, I've been just using the regular home screen. So a couple of hardware advantages for the books is we've got a uh, micro SD or it's just a regular full size SD card slot on the bottom and it's got a, there's volume buttons there because it supports audio. It's got one speaker on the back and then there's also uh, Bluetooth support so you can hook up a keyboard or Bluetooth headphones and there's also headphone jack. So you got the audio support and some of the additional features with the Bluetooth like uh, you can use it to write text notes and stuff like that if you wanted to do some text editing. Uh, you can install different um, like office apps and note apps you can use keyboards and stuff like that with. So one of the main advantages with like Amazon's Kindle e-reader specifically is they have a lot of features as far as software goes. I mean you got the vocabulary builder, 
you've got x-ray which isn't enabled on this book uh, you can automatically just look stuff up within a window for Wikipedia right here so you got a lot of really cool refined uh, software features that really make Kindles unique from other devices um, they don't have a lot of this stuff you can uh, in here like the x-ray uh, a lot of devices like obviously you're not going to get that on the books um, of course you can use the Kindle device and the Kindle app still doesn't have quite all the features that uh, like the Voyage has here because you got the fast page scan you can just open this up you can skip through chapters right here so there's a lot of cool uh, additional features you get with a dedicated e-reader like this so with the M96 uh, it's a lot, a lot more like an e-ink tablet you get more features but like as you can see like apps aren't specifically optimized for the e-ink screen whereas the Kindle everything's like really smooth and clear uh, you can set off the page refresh to uh, turn on and off page refresh but you get that setting for the base uh, default apps on the Onyx as well because they've been optimized for e-ink but just like the third party apps you install aren't going to be optimized so uh, the number one thing I like about the books of course is just a large screen and of course the uh, really bold dark font so like with this Kindle app you're not going to get the bold dark fonts but with the uh, default app, you can use the bold feature, and I really do like how dark the fonts are. Uh, I wish we had a little more control over fonts. You can actually um, control fonts more on this device. You have more options, uh, whereas the Voyage, you have exactly what they give you, and uh, there's not a whole lot of font sizes. I mean, there is, but like as you can see right here with the, the um, books, we can use this wheel to adjust the font size. The Kindle, we can pinch to adjust font size. Uh, <clears throat> But I really like uh, the bold feature. I don't have it enabled right now. Let's go ahead and turn on the bold to get really dark fonts. And as you can see, so the Voyage has double the resolution, but that doesn't really mean anything as far as how dark the text can be because um, it can still be really nice and dark on the M96 with a lower resolution screen using a bold setting and larger font sizes um, than the Kindle with a high resolution screen, which is tends to use a little bit thinner fonts. Um, than even some of the other candles and just because of the high resolution screen things are more clear but they're not quite as bold as um, a lower resolution screen you can have uh, more bold enabled some some of these other devices okay folks so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here check out the ebookreader.com for some additional information uh, thank you guys for watching and you have a good day